Anyone who's tried artificial intelligence tools like ChatGPT knows they can be clunky to access. What if you could skip going to third-party websites and still get all of that AI juice right at your fingertips, right where you're working? Writing help right inside your document, photoshopping smarts right on screen, or an assistant that can generate a spreadsheet list or a roundup of research without you ever needing to hunt the web? That's the premise of Google's new lineup of Chromebooks that have a whole host of helpful features built in. Meet the new Chromebook Plus. If you've shopped for a laptop recently, you know one of the biggest pet peeves already is salespeople trying to dazzle you with complex specs, speed, RAM, resolution, IPS, chips, and all you really want to understand is what you're going to be able to do. That's why I think Google is speaking my language with the launch of their brand new Chromebook Plus laptops. The new Plus lineup is designed to be much more user-friendly, but with twice the processing power, twice the speed, double the memory, and twice the resolution for a clearer screen over older Chromebooks. Plus, this new lineup of devices makes a major leap forward in terms of smarts too. Let's dive right into what the Chromebook Plus laptops can do, and the key feature to note here is AI smarts. So what is a Chromebook and how does it compare to a Chromebook Plus? About 10 years ago, maybe a little more than that, Google created Chromebooks to create a more democratic class of laptops that were still fast and secure while being really affordable. So in a nutshell, a Chromebook has been a way to get a cheap laptop that can manage basic and simple tasks like many of us do, things like email and online surfing. They tended to have slower processors, less memory, and less local storage than other laptops, so much of what they do is online-based by design. The new Chromebook Plus takes the low-cost idea and turns it on its head since it offers way more in terms of specs and speed, but keeps the price extremely low. You're getting that improved performance, better screens and cameras, as well as the standard built-in Google Apps, plus all new and powerful AI capabilities at a rather startling starting price of $399 US or $699 Canadian. I was recently invited to Google headquarters in New York City to get a briefing right from the Google executives in their cool studio about the new Chromebooks. Sadly, though, I'm not allowed to show you that part, but I did get to go hands-on with them after and get some coaching in how to use the new features. Google and Asus recently provided me with a sample Chromebook Plus to try out at home, and this is the Asus Chromebook Plus CX34. I'll touch super briefly on what this laptop in particular offers, then I'm going to get right into the pretty impressive Chromebook Plus features that were just announced. This is designed to be a compact, lightweight laptop. It's got a 14-inch screen and a generous 5.7-inch touchpad. And making sure you can keep up with what's online, it has faster Wi-Fi 6. I chose the nice white color to be a bit different and because of its 180-degree lay-flat hinge for sharing and collaboration. The Asus Chromebook has a 10-hour max battery life. While the design is nice and there's a backlit keyboard, I actually found it harder to read the keys in brighter ambient light when the backlight was on. The trackpad also kind of feels clunky and requires a bit of a heavier press to activate any clicks. The laptop, though, seems quick enough as an email and web surfing machine, but when it comes to using some of the more powerful tools, the speed improvements may be harder to notice. The access to AI features are what are supposed to sell this laptop. There's not so much one single AI assistant, but a host of features and tasks that can access AI through the device and more seamlessly than doing something like going to chat GPT or an AI photo generator. There's AI video improvements for video conferencing, Adobe Firefly AI tools like Photoshop, image generation, and more online. Adobe Express is on the device. Google also promises free AI-powered Chrome OS features for Chromebook Plus will be available later this year, like an AI writing assistant for everything from emails to YouTube descriptions. And soon, Google will introduce the ability to create AI-generated wallpapers based on a prompt. Want cats in the style of Van Gogh? Done. One of the complaints about the Chromebook experience has been that you don't have access to files if you're not online. 
Google addresses this to some extent with a feature called offline file sync. When you're setting up your Chromebook or after the fact, I guess you can choose which files you want to keep locally on your device. So they're always accessible to you even without an internet connection. Now, while I'm sure this will be popular with a lot of users, it does rely completely on you knowing which files you might want access to at all times and enabling the offline sync for them on your device ahead of time. The last few years, we've all faced that dreaded, sorry, I'm on mute, and then struggled to find the mute button on any one of a billion different video conferencing platforms like Zoom, Meet, Teams, and more. It just makes so much more sense to have those controls readily accessible at the system level. And with Chromebook Plus, you now get easy access to things like muting, the camera turning on and off, right on your lower navigation bar here. Plus, there's also options for background blurring, light or full, depending on what you want. There's also noise cancellation if you're in a busy environment and even an option right here to toggle your lighting using AI to make your picture and your video look a lot better. I found the new location of these system level controls to be wildly convenient and having instant access to a lighting tweak, noise cancellation for barking dogs in loud rooms, or an easy way to blur the background is actually one of the more useful features I've found here on the Chromebook Plus. Easy access AI assistance is one of the biggest innovations in laptop technology in decades. And in the Chromebook Plus, one of the most notable ways to see it in action is to try out Adobe's creative cloud apps, including the on-device Adobe Express. It's been a long time since I used any Adobe software. The company does make great products, but they just haven't been in my sphere for a lot of years. So I was recently given access to the Adobe suite of creative cloud apps to try out here on the Chromebook Plus, which reminded me of how smart many of these apps really are. Adobe Express comes on the Chromebook Plus, and this program is a cloud-based media creation app for making things like social media graphics, videos, and other graphic design projects. This is a website-based service, so you don't need to download giant files and run them on your laptop. I was able to use the text effects generator to add custom text and fonts to a poster and the text to image generator to create myself a little something for a recent YouTube milestone. AI is still not perfect, obviously, but it is getting better fast. The generative fill feature lets you easily remove things from photos and illustrations and then quickly add something you do want all right on the Chromebook Plus. Of course, most of this is only available to Chromebook Plus users when you're online, but it's still a pretty amazing suite of software that works really well on this laptop. I will say using some of these online features did seem a bit on the slow side, but it's hard to know if it's the computer not keeping up or my Wi-Fi. I've talked before about the amazing features of Google Photos, and in the Chromebook Plus, Google and Asus have brought Pixel Phone fan favorites like Magic Eraser right to your laptop. Now, I won't get into too much detail about this since lots has been said already, but it is nice to have this easy photo editing feature that can remove unwanted things from pictures accessible to you on a much larger screen. In other Chromebook news, Google recently got a bit of bad press after a whole bunch of school districts and customers were forced to junk their Chromebooks after Google stopped supporting them. With the new generation of Plus devices, Google is promising they'll receive updates for the next 10 years, which is actually pretty ambitious at this price point and might make these a lot more long-lived. A cool feature that's like icing on the Chromebook Plus cake is meant to be these exclusive wallpapers, which can change how they appear throughout the day. Based on where you are, they'll look different at sunrise, sunset, daytime, or nighttime, and your laptop will be a bit more interesting to look at. Anyone who's familiar with the Google Pixel phones will have heard about Material U, and anyone who's ever had to make do with a work laptop running Windows knows what a struggle it can be to make the computer feel like your own. Material U is a technology that allows you to customize your phone more to your liking in terms of what the apps and color schemes look like, and Google is now carrying this over into the new generation of Chromebook Plus, and with it, you'll notice three things. First, you get a user interface and color scheme that's generated based on your choice of wallpaper background. Second, it uses Google's Google Sans font. And the third is that the open apps in Windows have rounded corners to soften the overall look. Small things maybe, but they go a long way towards making your laptop feel a bit special. 
Overall, it's been quite a while since I've been hands-on with a Chromebook, and I have to say there's been a lot of significant changes now that we have Chromebook Plus. I think Google's really been listening to customer complaints about these devices, and it's doing its absolute best to address those while still keeping this laptop simple, uncomplicated, and affordable. On the pro side, you're getting double everything now, processing power, speed, memory, and twice the resolution. The addition of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite on the web is significant and actually goes a long way towards making this device even more useful. It's easy to use, it boots up fast, and it's easy to configure and to personalize. I'm also really excited for the arrival of the built-in AI writing assistant. When it comes to the cons, your biggest issues might be things that make a Chromebook a Chromebook. The fact that you'll need to prep for going offline and understanding that some of the features are limited if you're off Wi-Fi, but really how often are we off or far from Wi-Fi nowadays? To be clear, a Chromebook is not yet a total Windows or Apple replacement, and it can't be the machine that holds thousands of files ready at the click of your trackpad. But I have to say, with what you can do with a Chromebook Plus and the host of improvements made, it's really impressive. If you're the type of person who keeps minimal files, uses your laptop basically for personal email and surfing the web and the odd creative project, then this is an ideal computer since it can now also give you access to AI tools to help and a portal to more creative platforms like Adobe that can make your Chromebook Plus even more useful than you'd think. I can recommend the new line of Chromebook Plus and specifically the Asus Chromebook Plus CX34 to you. This version sells for about $399 US or $699 Canadian, and you'll be able to get it from any number of electronics retailers. Check out what else I've been reviewing right now.